Genesis, a new beginning of what luxury can be. Lease the Genesis GV70 for $5.49 per month. Exclusively at your local Genesis retailer. Welcome to Harvey High. Today's subject, engineering. The most support I've gotten in my life is from my what? My bra, Steve. Family Feud. I'd have never thought of it. <laughs> Weeknights at 6 and 7 on KCAL Los Angeles. In SoCal, our communities are diverse. Unique. She a turk in my shop and so are you, Paul Diano. Outrageous. <laughs> and totally us. KCAL News Mornings in your community. Weekdays 4 to 11. But I'm bummed. <laughs> this is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Like a land baron of feudal medieval times, and we're your serfs. Now at nine, the war of words intensifies between the Actors Union and Hollywood Studios, both sides accusing each other of misleading the public. The best way to cool somebody is with a slurry of ice. And a spike in heat-related injuries, hospitals and first responders taking drastic measures to keep patients cool during the heat wave across the Southwest. But we begin with breaking news. Late today, another bus filled with migrants from Texas arrived in Los Angeles. It is the fourth to arrive in a little over a month. And KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers live at the desk with details we're learning tonight, Mike. Yeah, Pat and Leslie, just moments ago, we got some information from people that are on the ground there at the church. I want to show you some video. SkyCal was overhead not long ago. It's the same church they've been brought to time and again. This is St. Anthony's Croatian. You see the bus there. Uh, 41 migrants were dropped off at Uni Union Station. The representatives there say it's mostly families, but some single riders uh, from Venezuela mostly, but also from China and Haiti. Now, I want to show you other video from last week. This is the second time in six days a bus has dropped migrants off. This was when we caught up with them last week when they arrived there. They're coming from Brownsville, Texas. Now, the representative on site today said most of them are in good spirits. They're happy to be here and be welcomed uh, by the team here in L.A. Now, Mayor Karen Bass's office was the one who alerted this to us. She says they've been, uh, they knew about this bus since yesterday and have had their teams activated and planning for their arrival. So as we come back out here to the desk, uh, this unfortunately seems kind of something that we're getting getting used to here now. This is the fourth busload of migrants to arrive from Texas. Obviously, this is a big political issue as well. Governor Newsom has once before said that he's looking into criminal uh, possible charges for the folks, officials in Texas that have been doing this. So we'll see where that goes. But tonight, these 41 migrants now in L.A. are in good spirits, guys. Mike, thank you for that update. And good evening. I'm Leslie Marin in for Juan Fernandez. And I'm Pat Harvey. Now, the standstill in Hollywood continues. Major studios and those who perform and write their content can't make a deal, and the rhetoric from both sides is only intensifying. Well, Tom Wade is here now with the latest on the, uh, I'm going to call it a standoff, Tom. Yeah, I think that's the right word, <laughs> right? Uh, and it, right now, there's no end in sight to it, so, yeah. and a standoff indeed. We're not even a week into the strike, and both sides are taking shots, and there's no sign of anyone going back to the bargaining table. And they are acting like punishing feudal land barons. A uh, fired up Fran Drescher, president of SAG-AFTRA on MSNBC, railing against the studios. Drescher claimed that one of the major issues that sent actors and performers to the picket lines, studios were not willing to discuss sharing streaming subscription revenues. We have to go in to the subscriptions pocket, and we were completely stonewalled. The AMPTP, which represents the movie studios, also went on the attack, claiming SAG has distorted the offers made by the studios and the AMPTP claims they offered SAG a billion dollars in wage increases, residual increases, and other benefits, including first-of-its-kind protections for AI. SAG pushed back on those claims. Union Secretary Treasurer Jolie Fisher on KNX Tuesday. I'd like for them to come up with a billion dollars. That would be awesome for 160,000 people to participate. This isn't movie stars screaming from their towers. This is working class folks who need just a little bit more. To drive that point home, actress Mara Wilson tweeted, I haven't acted much as an adult, but I was on a recurring character on one of the most critically acclaimed animated shows of all time, as well as playing an actual Disney villain. But thanks to streaming, I have never once made enough to qualify for SAG after health care. The picket lines were in full force from coast to coast Tuesday, and celebrities continued to lend their star power to the cause. Kira Sedgwick on the changing media landscape.